to my channel my name is Alexis Lopez and I'm so happy to have you guys here um, so for today's video I'm gonna be talking about gua sha now I feel like a lot of people are sometimes a little bit unaware of how to use the gua sha properly um, or what exactly are its benefits and its purpose and what does it exactly do for your skin and I'm here to tell you how I use it to share with you the great benefits um, that come with using a gua sha tool uh, now I personally love using it I love to feel like pampered and really um, show some love and attention and care to my skin um, especially on the day, those days where I feel like it's looking tired a bit dull and it just needs a little bit more extra love and attention because I know we all have those days sometimes um, so the gua sha in case you don't know is this cool looking tool right here um, so it's just it's just this small little tool but it does a lot um, so it either comes in like a jade stone or a rose quartz so the one I have is a green jade stone I love the gua sha tool and the reason why I use it is because I absolutely love um, the fact that it brings back the blood flow in your skin especially when you need that extra bruise because you're lacking some glow um, some brightness to the skin so by using this gua sha tool to massage the face um, it gets the blood circulation going it releases tension um, it drains like it creates a drainage and then the lymphatic fluids um, and that and in that process it allows you to bring back warmth into the face blood into the face which therefore brings you know a nice glow um, and I'm always looking for a nice glow for my skin, especially on the days where I haven't had much sleep and my face looks a little tired, so I'll just go in with this tool and I really do see a difference. I just, I see like a nice, beautiful, natural flush to my skin again um, and it just looks more like plump um, and just ready to, you know, it's like a nice way to prep the skin before going into finishing your skincare routine or going into doing your makeup. Another great benefit of the gua sha tool is that it reduces inflammation. So in those mornings when you're feeling a little bit puffy, maybe you didn't have much sleep or maybe you just um, ate too much salt the day before, I don't know, whatever it may be, um, go in with this tool and just, you know, massage massage that out, drain that lymphatic fluids and it really helps to depuff the skin and reduce inflammation. So for the gua sha tool, it also has been noted that it helps to prevent wrinkles. Um, now, I mean, I'm in my pretty early 20s, so luckily I don't have any uh, signs of wrinkles on my face just yet. Um, so I can't really attest to this, but it has been noted that it does help with um, reducing or preventing future wrinkles. The reason being is because again it helps to stimulate the blood flow in the face um, and it helps to just relax those nerves and relax any facial tension that you may have going on from throughout your day which can usually cause um, those fine lines to appear. And that with regular use um, of the gua sha tool it can actually help to tone the face over time and just help to sculpt it um, and create more elasticity for the skin which again also helps to prevent fine lines in the future. When you're using the gua sha tool, you want to make sure that you're working in an upward motion, um, never down because, you know, we want to lift things up. Um, we want to work against gravity, not with gravity. So definitely you want to work your way up the face, starting with the neck. Okay, so once you've washed your face, um, you want to make sure that you go in with some sort of facial spray to help hydrate the face. Um, here I am going in with my Mario Badescu aloe vera uh, facial spray. I I absolutely love this one. It really gives a good hydration to the skin. Um, it just soaks it right up and it smells so nice. Another reason why it's important to hydrate the face first is because it allows the oil that you will apply after to seep into the pores um, instead of just laying on the surface of the skin. So you really want to get those nutrients that are in your oil to really seep into your pores and do the work, um, create its magic. 
So once I have hydrated my skin, I will go in with um, my oil. Um, honestly, you can use any oil of your preference. Um, it's totally up to you. Right now, I'm using the Elizabeth Grand Green Power C multi-strength nutri intense oil so this is a vitamin c based oil um so you like i said you can use any oil you want so i really like to just go in there and really lather up my skin in this um i just love like that nice hydrating feel um it just my skin also feels so much more moisturized and another reason why you should use an oil before um using the gua sha tool is because it creates an easier slide um it creates more slip for the tool to glide on your face causing less um less tug on the skin if you're using the gua sha tool you want to make sure that you're using a light to medium pressure also want to make sure that your skin makes contact with the widest flat edge of your tool you do not use the edges um, that is just going to be too harsh on the skin so you want to make sure that you're using the flat um, side of your gua sha tool so you want to make sure that you start with your neck first because it is the bridge that brings all the circulation to and from the face so that is always going to be your starting point um, so i i always like to start um, at the back of my neck um, so you want to use the like inside corner um, of the gua sha tool where it sort of curves in and you want to start at the nape of the neck and then go up in an upward motion and then when you hit that bone in your scalp you want to just give it a little a little massage a little wiggle and then after that i'll move on to massaging it my right shoulder up to my neck like near my where my ear is um so i'll start sort of like on the top of my shoulder and then i'll work in an upward motion up to where i feel that bone where i feel my scalp starting and again i'll give it a little wiggle um, massage it into my scalp and then i'll go in again a few more times doing that same upward motion and then i'll do the exact same thing on the other side of my neck um, i'll again start from the top of my shoulder and then work in an upward motion until i feel that bone in my scalp and i'll give it a little wiggle um, just to massage that area and then once you've done that you want to make sure that you also do the front of the neck so again you want to work in an upward motion and just um, with a light pressure just massage in an upward motion yeah, so I usually start with my jawline. Um, I'll do one half of my face first and then I'll move on to the next half of my face. Um, so I'll start at my jawline and again I'll use like the part of the gua sha tool that curves in um, and I'll start at my chin and then I'll make sure that the flat surface is as like connected to my skin as possible and I'll work up, slide up my jaw and then once I reach that bone near my ear, I give it a little wiggle and then again I do it again. I'll start on my chin, glide up, but once I get to the bone, I do a little wiggle and I'll do that a few more times. Then once I've done that, um, I'll go in and um, I'll start with my cheek area. So when I do my cheek area, I'll use the more curved in flat surface um, and again I'll just work in an upward motion um, to like reach that bone area, give it a little wiggle, a little massage, and then I'll do it a few more times. Want to massage the under eye area here you want to be very gentle just because the under eye area has very sensitive skin um it is the thinnest skin that you'll find on your face so you just want to be very gentle with that part so i'll use one of the um like surfaces that are sort of like sticking out um i don't know how else to explain it and i'll just with very very light pressure um, massage that in an upward motion again until i sort of reach the temple of my forehead and i'll massage that there by giving it a little wiggle and i'll do that a few more times then i'll move up to my eyebrow area um so again i'll go in with like the area the part of the gua sha tool that's curved in um because it helps it just nicely outlines the shape of my eyebrow and I will just work in an upward motion until I reach that bone where my forehead is, give it a little wiggle um, and massage that into my scalp. And then when I move on to my forehead, 
I like to use this part of the gouache tool and then I'll just um, work in an upward motion again until I hit my um, boat, my scalp, and I'll give it a little massage by giving it a little wiggle. And again, I'll work in an upward motion. Um, once I've done that, I'll work on the other side. And then I like to just kind of like go all over my face and massage everywhere in an upward motion. To finish it all off, this is totally up to you. This is just like what I like to do. I always go in with my jade roller just because it's very, very cooling effect to the skin. So I'll just roll up um, and just finish it off by using my jade roller. Plus the jade roller is less of like a deep tissue massage. It's more of just like a relaxing therapeutic feel. Um, so I like to finish it off using my jade roller. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so, so much <laughs> for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Um, I know that before I started using the gua sha tool, I definitely had to do some research because I wanted to make sure that I was using it properly. I didn't want to just, you know, have it and use it like willy-nilly and not know what I'm doing um because um you know when it comes to your skin you definitely want to know what you're doing so I definitely made sure I did my research um and especially because I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys the right information so now you can go home and use your gua sha tool and give yourself some good loving massage on your skin and um yeah <laughs> anyways guys I'll see you all in my next video bye guys Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my last video, which is where I showed you guys how to style a pair of white combat boots. Um, there's a lot of fun and exciting outfits on there, so I would definitely go check it out.